I'm Chris Kruger and this is How to Get a Six Pack, my vlog where the audience picks the topic and today we're going to talk about one of the most vital factors in your six pack life, success. So real quick, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment about what you want me to talk about next time. Okay, last time what you guys said is, Chris, what time do you go to sleep and what is the importance of sleep? The truth is, sleep is vital. There's really three pillars to true health and fitness. So it's sleep, you know, rest and recovery, proper training, and real nutrition. And you need all those three things done properly to really look your best, feel your best, and be your best. Okay? But sleep is absolutely vital. You know, training and nutrition takes so much time out of your day. But sleep is actually a third of your life. Okay? Seven to nine hours every night. And if you're an adult, you're fully mature, you're done growing, you can probably get away closer to seven. If you're a teenager, you're in college, I want you to get close to nine hours of sleep every night because if your legs are still growing longer and your arms are growing longer, you need more time to do that, okay? And sleep is vital because without it, your hormones just get thrashed, okay? And it, it, it actually leads to bad food choices and can lead to diabetes and obesity because you, you can try to be in control so much and have so much willpower but if your hormones are all over the map, they will override what you want to do and what you know you should do. Okay, so if you haven't had enough sleep, you're gonna make bad food choices, you're gonna be stressed. Um, we already said it suppresses growth hormone and slows healing. And when you're working out and training, you need to heal and recover as quickly as possible and to have that growth hormone pumping in your body to keep getting better. You actually, and, and with a lack of sleep, you feel foggy and you get cognitive you feel foggy and you get cognitive impairment. You're actually worse at everything, including operating a motor vehicle. So sleep is vitally important. Now, I know it's tough to get sleep. I just got a baby puppy. She wakes me up at six every morning. It's crazy. And it was actually making me sleep deprived last weekend. You wanna be getting seven to nine hours of sleep every night, but how do you do that? Look, it's simple. Take what time you need to wake up in the morning. Say you got class or you've got work at nine o'clock and to do your morning routine, shower, brush your teeth, uh, have breakfast, all that stuff, commute to work or to school, you know you have to be up at 7.30. So go back from that, let's say eight hours, because I want to sleep eight hours and you should sleep eight hours, maybe nine hours. But say we want to sleep eight hours. So that means I got to be asleep at 11.30. If I, if I want to be asleep at 11.30, the best thing to do is shut off all your screens by 10.30. Any sort of backlit screen, like an iPad, iPhone, computer screen, television screen, it's just too stimulating and it's gonna keep you up. So, if we're gonna be asleep by 11.30, an hour before that at 10.30, I want you to shut your screens off. You can read, you can listen to audiobooks, you can listen to the radio, you can listen to music, something like that. Also, about an hour before bed, I wanna have my bedtime snack which is gonna be high in calcium for my bones to get stronger, as well as amino acids for my muscles to repair. Um, other than that, try to cultivate a nice evening routine before that. When you work out, when you have dinner, if you watch a couple shows or a movie, just keep everything pretty much the same. And what I want you to do is build out your circadian rhythm so that during your day, everything is usually the same. You know, You go to sleep about the same time, you wake up the same time, and it repeats itself and repeats itself so that your body can really get in the flow with it. And that's going to help your training so much, it's gonna help your nutrition so much, and it all fits together so that you can start living your six pack life. So those are my recommendations. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and if you have a topic for next week, please leave that in the comments. And if you see somebody else that left the same thing that you wanna talk about, thumbs up their comment, please like this video, and please subscribe. And we're just gonna keep doing this every week and get better and better. All right, make it happen.